does my power look all right my hair looks okay hello everybody um lotsy here uh welcome to a new video which i'm going to call the x220 adventure and the reason for that is this is going to be the start of a very 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 interesting series and so what do i mean by that well um i really 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 like ThinkPads, it's sort of like my fetish, and um, I like browsing uh, TradeMe, which is like New Zealand's version of eBay, and Facebook Marketplace for um, use ThinkPads a lot. And uh, recently I was just searching, as I usually do a couple times a month, and I saw a listing for an absolute bunch of like, there were maybe about maybe six, seven broken ThinkPads, and they say make an offer. And I'm like, okay, well, the ThinkPad that I really want, and that I want to make mine and like fully use for years, is either an X220 or a T440P. I'm very, very split between two. I want an X220 because Libre Boot, and that's going to be fun. And also it's a lot smaller, which I really like, and it's a lot lighter. But the T440P, better specs, it's a little bit newer, and it's also probably the most upgradable ThinkPad available. I, I, it doesn't have the um, upgradable CPU, but it's still super, super good for like sub-modern ThinkPads. And so I decided that um, to reach out to this guy, and I asked him, do you have any X220s or T440Ps? And he said, I don't have any T440Ps, but I do have an X220. And I asked, what's wrong with it? And he says, oh, um, everything works fine with it, it just won't charge. And I'm like, okay, that's a bit strange. How could you test everything works fine with it if it's gonna be out of power? Um, but regardless, I don't care anyways. But I have a hypothesis that it might be the charging port on it that's completely broken. And even if that's the case, that's fine, because I have like maybe 20 other ThinkPads at home, I could just swap out a charging port. So this is going to be a long journey. Today is going to be the journey of actually going there, talking to the guy, picking up the ThinkPad. Um, then next video, we're going to actually be taking a look at it, diagnosing it, seeing if we can get it to boot or the post or to charge, uh, whatever the process is. And then after that, we are going to be installing um, a Gen 2 and Windows 10 IoT LTSC dual boot. Um, now you may be saying, oh, why aren't you just using Linux? And that's because I use Recordbox for mixing. And Recordbox does not work well with wine. Mm, Mom, this tastes different. Did you put anything different in it? I put a bit of wine in it. So I have to um, use Windows 10 for that. And so it's just going to be a small partition just for that one program, which it sucks, but it's whatever. And I know it's PC, this laptop can't handle virtualization. So it sucks, but it's what it is. And um, so yeah, we're going to be doing a Gen 2 and uh, Windows Dual Boot, and then after that, we're going to be upgrading it to, uh, I think the max is either 8 or 16 gigs of RAM, and then we're going to be slapping in a 1 terabyte hard drive, and then after that, we're going to be in the last episode, we're going to be doing the most fun part, which is Libre booting it and putting stickers on it. So that's going to be the whole plan for the series. Hopefully it goes according to plan, and hopefully this actually turns out well. So. Just gonna catch a bus there now, but I'll see you guys a little bit later at the guy's house. We are in Birkenhead now, um, now just walking to the guy's place, don't want docks or anything like that, but now just walking to his place to pick up things. So, e, Birkenhead's a nice area in Auckland, I haven't been here a lot, so it's gonna be cool. Oh my fucking god, look at that. That is fucking beautiful. Right in Birkenhead too, I've never been here. Holy shit, that is a fucking amazing view. Alright, and so just the end of the guy laying him know I'm right outside, which I will be in five seconds, so this is going to be interesting, let's have a look. Alright, um, we're back. So, um, I just spoke to the guy, really, really nice guy, um, he didn't wish to be filmed, which I completely understood, and I respect his privacy. He came out with the ThinkPad, and I'm like, actually, I hope you don't mind me being a little bit cheeky. Would you mind if I had a look at the rest of them in the listing? And he said, yeah, sure, okay, you can come in and have a look. And, um, like, as we were walking to his, um, front door, I asked him, so, there's only one reason why people collect a bunch of old ThinkPads. You, like, Libre Boot plus Gen 2 gang. And he said, yeah, I am. And I'm like, okay, yeah, fair enough. Exactly what I'm doing, too. So, yeah, um, now we have it, a X220. Funnily enough, a Dell charger on the back, which has a Lenovo port. So, I'm going to trust this working. No fucking idea, but I'm going to make an assumption. Anyways, um, yeah, so I'll show more of this when I get home, and we'll do a bit of a 
look over and see what's going on there. All right, hello, we are back. I I'm in a mall and it's loud and noisy as fuck. Anyway, so what happened? Um, I went to the guy and um, I went to front of his house. I texted him, I'm here, I'm outside. He came out and um, uh, I introduced myself and I said, would you mind if I, um, bleh, English? Would you mind if I record this? That's all right for a YouTube video I'm making. And he said, I'm not, I prefer not to be recorded and that's completely fine. I understand perfectly. And so I didn't record the interaction, but um, I had a look at the ThinkPad in a very, very dark setting and I'm like, very cheeky question, but would you mind if I had a look at the other ThinkPads in your listing? I know I only inquired about the X220, but would you mind if I had a look at the others? And he said, um, oh no, yeah, come on in, you can have a look. And as we were walking to his front door, we were both talking, and I'm like, there's only one reason why somebody would have so many bulk mounts ThinkPads, and I'm guessing you're a Libreboot Plus, like, arch user. And he's like, yeah, okay, no, you're pretty much bang on the money there. And I'm like, oh, okay, so you watch Kenny? And he's like, yep. You watch Luke Smith? Yep. You watch DistroTube? Yep. And they're like, okay, this, this, this dude's certified base. Shout out to him. But um, anyway, so um, I had a look at it more inside. It was really good. And so what did I get? Well, funnily enough, I got a fucking Dell charger. This is a Dell charger, and I've never seen this before, but it has the yellow barrel for uh, ThinkPad. It's super strange. It's Dell charger. I don't know who, what, how, when, or where it came up with. But this did give me an idea, this might actually be why it wouldn't charge if you use this charger. Because it looks like somebody disconnected the actual Dell socket and put on a Lenovo one instead for some reason. I have no idea. So that might be the culprit, and I'm really hoping it is. But the bit they were waiting for, the actual X220 itself. Ta-da! So, yeah. It's base. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. This is the, I've had an X201S before that's been lying around in junk because I haven't been fucked to fix it. But the X220 is my dream child, and this is what I really want. And I can't believe I got it for fucking 50 bucks. And it might not even be broken, it's 99% plausible that's just the charger. So yeah, super ultimate base. Um, one thing they said though, um, when I DM'd him on Facebook, is that I asked him is it an i5 model or an i7 model, and he said he didn't know. And there was a very good reason for that, because the, uh, the stick is gone, and someone peeled it off. So I'm like, oh, okay. And uh, on the back, I haven't checked yet, but I'm checking now. It seems to have all the screws, which is good, but it does have a replacement hard drive bay, and I can tell because it's uh, glossy black compared to the matte black of the rest of the laptop. But other than that, this looks to be in really sort of good condition. 50 bucks, I honestly can't argue. It comes with a battery, which I'm going to assume is third party, because it's a different type of plastic. Um, but we can just have a look at it now. And, uh, oh wait, oh no, it isn't. It's a official Lenovo battery. Okay, so this thing is like guaranteed dead. I'm not even arguing that at this point. This thing is like to the grave. But, still based. Still not going to complain. So, yeah, super fucking cool. I haven't plugged this in yet, mainly because I don't trust that fucking son of a bitch of a charger. But, I want to try to turn it on, see if it has any battery. It probably doesn't. It probably, it, it definitely doesn't. These things fucking old as balls. But, let's give it a try. Alrighty, here it is. So, sorry if it's not the best view or whatever, but let's press the power button and see what happens. Nothing's going to happen. Three, two, one. What? Uh, do something. Please. It won't. And so, it's got a power I'm fucking surprised, holy shit. So it turns on, and the Bluetooth light's on, which I imagine it has a network switch at the front. I haven't checked actually, does it? It doesn't have a network switch. Oh, I forgot these mobs don't. Ah, okay. Well, this is cancer. Rip. But anyways, yeah, um, it's turning on. Bluetooth light's on, the power light's on. Um, caps lock isn't turning on and off, which is harrowing, but I mean, better than I thought it would do. I don't see things thing wouldn't post at all now to replace charging port, but no. That's actually semi-decent, 
Okay, um, let's try Think Answer Spam, because I really can't think of anything else to do in, in this sort of scenario. You can't just fucking, like, reset the, um, NB RAM like Mac. And nothing. The microphone, mute buttons, they don't work, cat clock doesn't light up. Yeah, just those two, and no screen isn't even powering on either, there's no backlight. So that's semi-concerning, but at the same time also really good, because it did better than I was expecting. Um, I'll just turn it on one last time, but I'll face a bit more towards me. Oh, okay, so the think light works, which is odd. I honestly think this may be a broken screen, possibly, or memory corruption. Definitely, memory, that's definitely a possibility. Um, so I'm just not too sure to be 100% honest, but nevertheless, I'm not going to visual complain here. So, does the light turn on the top? It does indeed. Okay, well, that's good. Can we, like, turn it on and off? No, we can't. So it flickers for a second, but the pink light doesn't actually fucking work. Brilliant. Okay, well, we we did that. I am surprised it has charge at all, because holy shit, I was not expecting that. And I'm going to fully blame that charger over there. Like, no questions asked. Uh, the top's a little bit dirty, but that's just crumbs and shit, I don't know where they, where they came from. I could definitely do a bit of a wipe down with like a, um, a wet wipe or something, but other than that, it seems to be okay. This is way better than I was actually expecting. Holy fuck, I was expecting like the hinge to fall off. But, no, nah, this is actually like decent. I wonder what hard drive I have in here. I don't have a screwdriver in my bag, so I can't tell. I am not LTT certified, but, nor do I want to be at this moment, but... Um, pretty good. Uh, anything else I could check? Not really much else. Um, oh yeah, oh fuck. I forgot the most important thing. More important than fucking turning it on. Most important thing. All that fucking keyboard. All that keyboard. That... That keyboard. Oh my god, okay. Um, the ThinkPads have the best fucking keyboard in the world, ever. These are incredible. Like, this isn't even my personal preference. Like, this thing beats fucking IBM Model M any day of the week. Yeah, the keyboard just feels absolutely fantastic. Typhoon, holy fuck, that's giving me an orgasm. Um, also, bonus, like, which is rare with ThinkPads nowadays when you buy them used, it actually has the nub, the nipple, the rat tail, whatever you want to call it. The, the red nipple. It's got it, which a lot of them don't, and some people, kids, take it off or whatever. But yeah, super, super happy with this. So, um, I guess that leads off to one final question. What next? And so, what happens next? Well, this is going to be the end of this video, with just me picking it up, having a look at it, very basic look like I am now. Um, and, yeah, um, that was really about it for part one. Part two, I'm going to take it home, I'll film that later tonight. We're going to run a bunch of diagnosis, we're going to try and at least get it to post on screen. Somehow, we're going to try a different charger, going to try change the RAM, going to try a couple things that possibly need screen if I can find one, and um, just try and get it to post, and that will be part two. Part three will be installing a Gen 2 and Windows Fuel Boot on this thing, Windows 10 IoT LPSC, and part four will be Libre booting it and decorating it with fucking stickers, which is going to be fun as hell. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video today. If you did, please leave a uh, like. It would really help me out more than you can imagine. Please subscribe. Please comment. Uh, this is going to be a really fun journey, and I'm super looking forward to everything about it. This is going to be absolutely awesome. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in part two. Peace.